name is Taisy Harmon, and today I will be showing you how soil health can benefit you. But before I go on, I would like to say I have learned all this from my father, Tance Herman, the state soil health specialist. Now, I will be showing you exa an example of what happens when you till your ground versus what happens when you don't till your ground. And all of this represents soil, the peanuts as the non-disturbed soil, Rice Krispies as like a one or two timed tilled soil. And then here I have a used to be tilled ground that has Rice Krispies and peanuts in it as well as flour on the top showing a farmer trying to stop tilling and get their soil back to good health. And then here I have just flour representing years and years of till. Now I will grab my water to show you what happens when it rains. Here in the peanuts, it drains straight through and goes down and gets your water nice and, or your plants nice and healthy and lots of water in them. And then here, we have the Rice Krispies of the one or two times tilled. And it drains through well, but not as fast as the peanuts did. And then here, regaining healthy soil. It, it's not draining through yet, but after a little bit, it might. And then here of the non-tilled soil, or the tilled soil that has been tilled quite a bit, it does not come through at all. And we don't till our garden, so normally it's kind of like in between the Rice Krispies and the peanuts, but, oh, sorry. We have a breakthrough of the getting healthier soil. Now it's draining pretty slow, but it's still getting the plants the water they need. And now here, I have two types of soil, one from my family garden and one from a cornfield in Minnesota. Now, I was honestly surprised. We don't till our garden at all because we know that's bad for it. But here, honestly, our soil is probably finer than the one that came from Minnesota. Now, that might just be because when they were tilling, they dug a little bit deeper that time or something and it got the soil to be thicker and in bigger chunks like the peanuts are. But in our soil, which we don't till, which is probably just like, I don't know, finer cause our chickens got in there, which wasn't good, but they got in there. But there's still some chunks in here, as you can see. But then there's also like some like Rice crispy types. And yeah, I'd say that it's the best the best you can be or do for your soil is not till your ground and you will have the best plants that you will ever have 